Everyone's talking about the next Nintendo Switch console. The Switch Pro, the Switch 2 Electric Boogaloo. It goes by many names, but there's nothing we know for certain about the console. It's an enigma, a console of mystery. Now we know we may have gotten a little ahead of ourselves with our last video on the Nintendo Switch Pro, so we apologize for that. The truth is that Nintendo has kept very quiet when it comes to the next Nintendo Switch, so we honestly don't know much about the upcoming console. But based on everything we've heard, we've come up with our own theory on what we expect to see in the coming years from Nintendo. Before we get into all the leaks and rumors about the next Nintendo Switch console, let's go back and quickly correct the mistakes we made in our previous video. Here at The Gamer, we own up to things when we make a mistake. We may have led you guys on and made you think that everything we said about the Nintendo Switch Pro was a cold, hard fact when it was all just speculation. In fact, we don't even know if there's an upcoming Nintendo console in the first place. Never mind that it's called the Nintendo Switch Pro, so that's on us. In our previous video, we mentioned that the Switch Pro was going to be 4K, but didn't really specify what we meant. According to the rumors, the next Switch is going to have a 1080p screen in handheld mode and 4K support only when docked. It's very unlikely, if not impossible, for Nintendo to make the screen on the Switch 4K at this point in time, but 1080p sounds much more likely, and it would be an upgrade on the 720p screen we have on both the Switch and the Switch Lite. We also mentioned that the screen and controllers would most likely be bigger, but none of the rumors seem to support that. Of course, we'd love a larger screen and bigger, more ergonomic controllers, just like everybody else, but they're not even mentioned in the rumor mill, so they shouldn't have been talked about in the video. We should have been more upfront with you all and let you know that everything we were talking about was based on what we had heard at the time, so that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. This is going to be all about rumors and leaks. Not a single thing we're going to talk about in this video is confirmed. So it's all speculation. We even have our own theory about what Nintendo is going to do in the future, so let's get into it. If you're excited to finally get your hands on a new and improved Switch in 2020, well, we hate to burst your bubble, but it's just not happening. It's likely that we'll get a new Nintendo Switch console in the future, but 2020 doesn't look like that year. In fact, Nintendo themselves said they weren't releasing a new Switch this year, so it's straight from the horse's mouth. Now that's a cold hard fact, and honestly not one we really wanted to hear. But if 2020 is out of the question, 2021 seems like the year we'll get a new Nintendo Switch, and it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. There are a lot of big name consoles coming out this year, and by a lot we mean two, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. That name has not grown on us at all. Anyway, these two consoles are going to be incredible, so do you think Nintendo wants to throw their hat into the currently crowded race for console supremacy? Yeah, we don't think so. Historically, Nintendo tends to do their own thing, and doesn't get caught up in the console wars like Sony and Microsoft. The Nintendo Switch was released in March 2017. It wasn't during the holiday season, and it wasn't in a year where other major consoles were released. Oh, and it also sold incredibly well with 52.5 million units sold and counting, so we think Nintendo is going to stick to that formula with the next Switch console and release it in early to mid-2021. It would be a year after the release of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, so they'd have the stage to themselves. It would be a very smart move for Nintendo financially as well because less competition typically translates to more sales. As long as you get the marketing right, which we trust Nintendo with. They learned a lot from the dark days of the Wii U. This may sound crazy, but could Nintendo be working on releasing a new console altogether in 2021? Hey, anything's possible. But there's even less rumors out there about this, so we don't even know where to start. It's incredibly unlikely that this is happening because the whole point of the Switch is that it's a hybrid console, capable of being played anywhere. So we don't think Nintendo will make a home console that plays Switch games, even if it's much more powerful than the regular Switch. They already have the dog to game on TV, so it really wouldn't make much sense and would kinda ruin the whole point of the Switch. It's far more likely that they're going to stick to the Switch we know and love and either upgrade it or refresh it. It's totally possible that Nintendo is working on a powerful high-end version of the Switch. All you have to do is search Nintendo Switch Pro or Nintendo Switch 2 on Google and pages of pages of links to rumors will pop up on your screen. 
but absolutely nothing is confirmed. Nintendo has kept completely quiet on any news surrounding a new Switch console. But we have a good idea of what to expect from this hypothetical console, and we got some things right in our other video. The Nintendo Switch Pro is rumored to have an IGZO 1080p screen, the same type of screen we've seen Apple use for their iPads for quite a few years now. It's very durable and beautiful to look at, which would be an improvement to the current screen we have that sometimes gets scratched by the dock. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. Like we mentioned before, the Switch Pro would likely only be able to support 4K video when docked. Under the hood, the console could get a new processor. The NVIDIA Tetra X1 Plus chip is rumored to be in the Switch Pro, and it would improve performance by up to 25%, allowing for more advanced graphics and giving the developers more room to work with. In terms of RAM, we're looking at about 8 gigabytes, which is an improvement over the 4 gigs of RAM the original Switch came with. For storage, it sounds like we'll be getting 128 gigs, which would be a massive improvement over the 32 gigabytes of storage we have with the normal Switch, and would pretty much get rid of the need for a micro SD card, unless you're like us and have way too many Switch games than you need. What you may not already know is that Nintendo did upgrade the original Switch already, and they did it this past summer. In July 2019, Nintendo filed a report to the FCC claiming that they wanted to make some improvements to the Nintendo Switch. And not too long after we learned about the report, they started rolling out upgraded Nintendo Switches with a new processor, promising better battery life. The processor didn't make the console noticeably faster, but it did improve battery life by two to two and a half hours. All in all, it was more of a refresh of the original Switch than a new and improved Switch. It's possible that we may get the Nintendo Switch Pro with all the specs we just mentioned, but it's also possible that Nintendo is going to do another refresh of the console in 2021. Maybe Nintendo is refreshing their console every two years to keep it from falling behind in terms of performance. After all, it's been nearly three years since the Switch launched, and that's almost an eternity in the life of a chip at this day and age. So it makes sense for them to refresh their console to keep it up to date every couple of years. If all Nintendo is doing is updating the chip to improve performance and battery life every two years, then there won't be a noticeable difference between this refreshed 2021 Switch and the refreshed one from 2019. There may be a bigger difference between the 2021 Switch and the 2017 Switch, but it still wouldn't be significant. If Nintendo refreshes the Switch in 2021, it would be like when Microsoft released the Xbox One S. It's the same console with some minor improvements but not enough to warrant an upgrade if you own an earlier version of the console. The 2021 Nintendo Switch would slowly replace the 2019 one, just like the 2019 refresh did to the original. And you'd also have the Nintendo Switch Lite as the lower end model. It makes a lot of sense for Nintendo to do a simple refresh in 2021 and not come up with a high end Nintendo Switch Pro, but it's also possible we'll get neither of them. We haven't heard a peep about a new Nintendo Switch console since the Switch Lite was released, which makes us think Nintendo may be working on something else entirely. There's a rumor going around that Sony might be working with Nintendo to use the Switch for remote play with PS4 games, and possibly even PS5 games. Where did we get this crazy idea? From Reddit, of course. Redditor you read it here first, which is a great username, shared a survey on the PS4 subreddit where Sony was asking if players would be interested in playing PS4 games on other platforms, like the Nintendo Switch. Now, companies do these kinds of surveys all the time to kind of test the waters and see if something outside the box would be viable for them to do. So we're not going to read into it too much. But ah, uh, who are we kidding? Of course we are. This would be such an amazing collaboration and would benefit both Nintendo and Sony financially. More gamers would buy Nintendo Switches if they own PS4s, so they could play on the go more easily. It would essentially become the PS4's companion tool. It would also work the other way around as well. Switch gamers would now go out and buy PS4s if they could play those games on the Switch, opening themselves up to a whole new library of games. Sure, we know remote play is limited to being on the same Wi-Fi, but it would still be neat to be able to play PS4 and PS5 games on the Switch if the TV is occupied. But don't think we forgot about what happened the last time these two companies worked together. Yep, we're talking about the whole Nintendo PlayStation debacle, where Nintendo and Sony were working on an add-on for the SNES together, and Nintendo pulled out due to a financial disagreement, partnering with Philips instead. Yeah, that wasn't Nintendo's best decision, because the Philips CDI was a massive disappointment. 
content, while the Sony PlayStation was a huge success. But we'd love to see the two companies come together to build something great once again. It all comes full circle. And that's everything we know about the upcoming Nintendo Switch console. We'd love a souped-up version of the Switch, but who knows what Nintendo's up to? What do you think? Are you fine with another refresh, or do you want something more? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more gaming videos. Thanks for watching.